Remember, you and your baby are sharing a heartbeat. baby now and I think that's what mum wanted too and I think we're ready I've got a doctor's appointment at the hospital tomorrow to see if my heart's ready to have a baby plus I'm so sick and tired of being sick all the time you do know I worry about you right are you sure it's the right time to have a baby have you been looking after yourself you don't really look that well your mum used to be the one to humbug you to take your needles and since I'm always out working I'm Barely home, so who's been doing that? Tina? You're supposed to have 13 penicillin needles every year. Have you been keeping up to date? Like, how much have you had this year? Do you know? I miss mum. It's been really hard with her gone. I can't even get up and go to the clinic. And yes, sometimes I forget to take my needle. I don't know how much I've had. Do you reckon I'll be alright? Don't know, Tess. We'll get through it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel so tired and out of breath all the time. I'm really worried. Hey, I wish Mum was here. I'm worried about you, Bob. Have you been seeing the doctor lately? Yeah, I've got an appointment with my heart doctor soon. A lot has been happening since your mum passed away. I know it's stressful. It's stressful on all of us. I'm here for you every step of the way, sis. Jess, come in, please. Good morning, Tess. How can I help you today? Um, I'm actually here for my heart scan today, and I've been thinking about having a baby. Okay, all right. So let's, let's just slow down a little bit. Um, let's think through this together, Tess, okay? Yeah. Have you been having your penicillin injection? No. Um, I've been forgetting a lot recently. My mum recently passed away, so it's been really hard. Oh, I'm really sorry, Tess. I'm really sorry. Um, how you been feeling? I've been really tired all the time. Um, I've got difficulty catching my breath. Um, I breathe really heavy and I'm coughing all the time. Has that been going on for some time? For a while. Let's do an echocardiogram and to see how things are going. Okay. Okay, Tess, as I said, I'm just looking at your heart here, and if you have a look at the picture up there, that's your little heart valves opening and closing, okay? This is the mitral valve here, the aortic valve. And what you can see on the same picture, in the colour is the blood flowing around the heart. And what you can see is the blue blood is the sick blood going back in the wrong direction. Okay, Tess, what I would like you to do now is just to get dressed and then we can talk, talk about things. Jamie, would you like to come through? Jamie, thank you for coming in. My name is Dr. Bo. I am a heart specialist doctor. And we just had a look at Tess's heart. We took some pictures with an echo machine. And unfortunately, I've got some not so good news for you. Tessa's heart has become very sick. Uh, two of her valves inside her heart are not working properly. She'll need to have a heart operation. Can I still have a baby? Will my heart be strong enough? Uh, Tess, let's just slow down a little bit, okay? You can't have a baby right now. Your heart is very sick. What I would like to do now is just to talk you through what the problem is and then come up with a solution together to see how we can solve this problem together, Tess. Okay. You're gonna be okay, all right? So Tess, unfortunately two of your heart valves are very sick, both the aortic valve and the mitral valve. 
they're not shutting or opening properly. That means the blood is not going the correct way inside your heart. It's going backwards the wrong way. And instead of the blood going the correct way, when the heart squeezes, the blood goes back the wrong way, back towards the lungs. And that's the reason why you've been short-winded and really tired, because your heart is working very, very hard. It would be too dangerous for you to have a baby right now, Tess. We need to get your heart fixed first. We have two options. Um, one option is to get a soft valve, <coughs> but the problem with that, it only lasts about five years because it wears out very quickly. Or to get a mechanical valve, which is the hard one, but if you get a mechanical valve, you must take blood thinning medicines every single day of your life. Because if you don't, then you could have a stroke and die. The problem with that blood thinning medicine is it can harm the baby. So it's very dangerous to be on those medicines if you're planning to have a baby. So I would like you to have the soft valve. How do you feel about that? I think that's probably the best option for us, don't you think? If it's the safest for the baby, then sure. That, that's exactly right. That's the safest for the baby. How long will she be gone? Okay. She'll be gone for three weeks. Will she be alone? She can take someone else with her, an escort, either yourself or another relative. Will she be okay? She's going to be fine. She's young and otherwise really strong. Can I still have a baby? Will my heart be strong enough? Let's get you through this operation first and then we can talk about the baby. Remember Tess? The mother shares a heartbeat with the baby. That's what mum used to say. Okay, we'll get through this together. babe. How was the flight? Yeah, it was good. Someone picked us up from the airport. Yeah, what's it like in the big lights? I don't know, it's really big, hey. Lucky someone did come. <laughs> yeah, I'm at work. I've got Tina, but I still miss you. I'm missing you too. So when do you get back? For three weeks. Three weeks? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. I'm going to the hospital now. I'll talk to you later.
and when are you going to be back again? Jamie, you know it's been six months since my heart operation. So, I really think that we should have a baby now. No, Tess. I don't think we're ready. That was a big operation, you know. Yeah, but look at me. I'm fine. I'm not breathing heavy anymore. I can go out and do everything that I normally do. I've got energy. What's the problem? Why can't we have a baby? I'm scared about your heart. What if something goes wrong? What if you get sick again? Look, she's got new soft heart valves. That lasts five yeah, years. Yeah, no. and who's going to help you look after your new baby, eh? I'll do it. You know, I can't help much now since I got this new Ranger job, eh? We need the money. Yeah, and I'll do it all myself. I don't need you. I don't need any of your help. Tess, don't speak to him that way. He looks after all of us. What's wrong with you? Are you going to apologise or what? Look, the rheumatic has been hard on all of us. That's why we worry for you. Just have a talk with the clinic first, okay? How can I help you today? Well, we actually came in today to talk about having a baby. Okay, let me grab your notes. Okay, your new heart valves were put in six months ago. Is that correct? And they are soft valves so that you can have a baby mm -hmm. because you're not on any blood thinning medication. And also, it looks like you've been keeping up with all of your injections. Uh, yep. Well done. I've been using my tracker app to keep up to date and to remember when I've got my next injection. Oh, that's wonderful, Tess. Will she be strong enough? She is. She's very strong. She's been listening to us health workers and she's been coming for her appointments and she's also been getting all of her injections as well. I don't want to lose her too. All these things make me think that Tess is okay to have a baby. Do you remember what to do to get ready for the baby? Yep. Um, I need to continue to take my penicillin shots. I need to go to the dentist to get my mouth checked and my teeth cleaned. Um, and then I need to continue to take multivitamins for the baby um, and then go to the doctor to get an echo of my heart. Would you like the implant on out today? The mum shares the heart with the baby. This is in my heart.